Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. Hope you're doing well. And I hope that it's not as cold here uh, where you are as it is in North Carolina. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but when I tell you it's cold, it's cold. I tell you what, I've had to turn my heater on off and on. I usually don't do that during the day, but it's cold enough today to do that. As you can hear, I got water boiling in my soup pot, so uh, <clears throat> didn't realize how cold it was going to be today, but I had already planned on making a big old pot of chicken noodle soup, fresh chicken noodle soup. So, uh, hang on one second. I need a little bit more water. Got my water boiling here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started with uh, the soup. I got four pounds of chicken. I got some legs, some thighs, and some wingettes in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get them in. That's about four pounds of chicken, five pounds of chicken, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and get it in and let it get started cooking because I'm sort of running a little bit behind. I was just lounging this morning, child. Just to be honest, that's what I was doing. Lounging around on the phone, calling people, checking in on people. Like we, we always tell y'all, you know, check on folks, especially when you know they got things going on. I know I have called at least four of my friends that are in some real health uh, issues, but we're praying and asking God to heal them from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. So we all got things going on. That is why I'm a advocate for prayer pray without ceasing always and for everything and just in general just pray because you know those prayers can go abroad and bless many because you know the prayers of the righteous avail of much so we're going to continue to pray and we count ourselves righteous as we trust and obey the lord so we're just going to do what he tells us to do and we're going to continue to pray so i'm praying for my friend in dover delaware Yes, I am. I'm praying for her. I, I'm, I didn't ask her permission to put her name out here, but God knows who she is. And so does she. So if she's listening, she knows that I am praying for her and her affliction. I'm praying for my neighbor uh, who's still being hospitalized. So I'm always praying for her. I'm praying for my best friend and her husband. And um, just for anybody who has, you know, this COVID and this influenza and that RSV, situation is mounting and somebody's getting shingled and all different things. These are just people that I know personally. And I, I lost a dear friend last week. So all kinds of things. So I'm praying for bereavement and all that kind of thing just here among the people that I know up close and personal. So we send those prayers abroad to your friends, your family, your loved one, your best friend, your BFF, people that you may have met on the street, people that you went to school with, whomever. We're just praying for everybody this morning, and especially during this season, because we want to, uh, among all of the things that are not going well, we want to be able to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we do. We celebrate him, and we thank God that he gave us that son that we could celebrate this time of year and have some cheerful times in our life, because he gave us permission to be successful and to be joyous and to have hope in this life on this earth. And at the same time, we do have to learn how to endure those things that come upon us. So now fresh and new, the weather situation that is going on in all these different states, uh, out in Colorado, I believe some stuff is going on in the Northeast. That's not too far from me. I'm in North Carolina, so in DC and all up through there where those are, uh, blizzards and, and flooding and all those things going on, loss of life. So we pray for those people who are grieving their loved ones and for that, uh, <clears throat> for those families, you know, who have lost loved ones during the year and you're grieving this time of year because they're not going to be here for you to look and smile at and buy that special gift for or, or put some money in that little money envelope. So, Father, we lift up all these people and all these things in the name of Jesus today that we can still have joy. After all the things we've been through, God says we can still have joy if we trust and believe that he can give us this joy and know that he is our hope, our source, our salvation, and our blessing. So we got to adopt those things in our life. We got to, if, if we don't have prayer life, we need to develop prayer life as we walk this journey. I, was, I always tell my children, you know, 
pray, and when you get through praying, pray some more. Because there's a word that says, when you've done all you can do to stand, stand some more. So we got to rely on the goodness and the almightiness and the sovereignty and the omnipotence of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and God the Father, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity that directs and guides us all. But we got to believe that. We got to adopt that. God's not going to force it on us. We got to believe those things so that those things begin to manifest in our lives. So, for all those who are going through this weather situation that's going on throughout the country, we pray for you. We lift you up. All of our YouTube family and those areas where this weather is wreaking havoc, then we just continue to pray for you and we pray for the will of God for you and your family that you will weather this storm and come out okay. So, there is still room for us to celebrate because after all, the one that we should be celebrating is the same one that's going to help us through these storms and these trials and these tribulations. So, um, as usual, my phone rings all day long. I'm not going to answer this one. These unknown phone calls, I get them all day long. These uh, you know, those people have to work. Those are jobs for these people. So, I mean, I used to fuss about it. I, sometimes I still do, but I'm going to try to go ahead and ignore it today. Anyway, y'all, so we, we pray all these prayers in, in the Lord's name, and we continue to pray without ceasing. I advocate to you, pray without ceasing. Pray about everything. Pray about everything. Pray just when you don't even have nothing specific. Just pray and ask God to direct our path and that, those of others. And don't withhold, you know, this scripture, and I got to had it in my mind and just left. But the the words I'm not. Don't withhold things from people in your life that you have that can make their lives better. There's a scripture that says that and I think it's in the Psalms somewhere. I have to look it up and pass it on to you. But don't withhold things from people. When you know you can help somebody, help somebody. And don't worry about well this, that and the third. If you you know if it's money and you oh they're never gonna pay back. Well then uh, let them have it in the spirit of giving rather than loaning. That way you don't get yourself all jacked up and everything like that. And you, don't, you won't even worry about it. My phone is oh, it's up there on top of my screen. I got to sit up there and some people. Okay. But anyway, do not withhold things from people that you know. Do you not, know, like say, this or that person got my blessing. This or that person got what I need. If you got it and can give it, go ahead and give it. And if it's a long thing, then, you know, make that stipulation. But certainly, don't withhold it just on the strength that, or oh, they might not give it, you know, whatever. But you still have to do whatever you can live with. So, anywho, y'all, continue to pray without ceasing. Pray for each other. Stand in the gap for each other. Do something kind for each other. Whatever you can do to make another person's day, go ahead and do that. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm making this big old gigantic pot uh, chicken noodle soup. I'm going to give away half of it and cook some for me and Kareem. Got a um, person in particular that needs uh, a hot bowl of turkey noodle, chicken noodle soup. So that's what we have it today. Chicken noodle soup. And I'll probably make some. Uh, oh, I bought some of those. A uh, box of that mix to make, um, what do you call it? Red lobster. Cheddar Bay Biscuits, so if you want to do turkey noodles, ch chicken noodle soup, and Cheddar Bay Biscuits, uh, it's going to be what's on the menu today. I uh, hope you all are having a God-blessed Wednesday. The week is just about gone, and do you all realize Christmas is just upon us? So it's almost here, folks. It's almost here. Now, as I'm cooking this chicken, you know that little foam stuff, and I'm thinking that it's part of what comes... Um, <clears throat> When there's you know all all meat you just like us there's blood in there sangre so i'm assuming bone marrow all that kind of stuff makes these little secretions in the pot so you can just skim them off right now it's wait till later and this is not real bad uh somebody asked me the other day i was doing pork chops and when you cook pork chops you know how the blood will come up yeah they asked me if it was blood now Yes, it was blood. And they said, well, you should wash it in cold water. Well, I did wash it in cold water. In fact, the chops were frozen. 
I washed them in cold water to a point and let them set out all of that, but the blood still came. So there's no guarantee, and if that works, it works. But um, sometimes, you know, some things are better left unquestioned. Okay, so I'm just gonna get as much of this off as I can. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the uh, seasoning in this chicken. It's gonna have to boil about a good hour. So I've got some thigh meat, some wings, and a couple of drumsticks. I just went in my freezer and pulled out the chicken that I have, and that's what we're using to make the soup with. Okay, so again, I hope y'all gonna God bless uh, Tuesday. Hope you got something planned for your day, shopping, whatever. I decided today, Tanya asked me, I decided today that now nah, I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of shopping. I don't feel like getting out. Um, it, it's cold for one thing, and another thing. There are so many people out, y'all. People are thinking about, you know, last year most people were shut in, couldn't get out and shop a whole lot. People ain't being held back this year. Trust me. I'm serious. So I'm going to stay in as much as I can. Okay, folks. So this is one medium onion, green pepper, and about three or four stalks of celery I've ground up. And I got them ground down almost to a paste because I didn't want the big chunks in this particular soup. So... We ground it down really, really good. And it's going right into our pot with our chicken. All this is going to flavor that soup. And we're going to have optimal flavor in here. Make it real good because I'm going to use elbow macaroni noodles to make this with. Would love to have had some of those flat noodles, but I didn't have any. And I decided, Peggy, you're not going back to the grocery store today. So I didn't go to the grocery store because I almost went to food line, y'all. Not doing it today. Okay, so got all that in there. I ground those veggies up in my grinder. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is a couple of tablespoons of my, this is my chicken, where's the front? Chicken base. Okay, I'm going to use a couple of tablespoons of chicken base. You know, it has a salt content. So that is more than likely going to be the salt. Okay. So this is a three gallon. I'm using, I'm making three gallons of soups so far. Um, and now I'm going to put in some of my garlic pepper season blend. So I'm going to put a couple, well, a couple of tablespoons of that in there. One and two. Okay. Got that going in there. Next, I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of sage in there. Half a teaspoon of sage. Okay. Where is my turmeric? Ooh, well, it's almost time to go back to I use lots of turmeric. A teaspoon of turmeric. I have, I got about another tablespoon of turmeric left. I've got some um, curry powder too. I'm going to put in there. Now, curry and turmeric taste similar, but not the same. Okay, so I can put both of them in there. And I'm going to put some, uh, uh, where's my curry, curry, curry. Okay. Now, once I get all those ingredients in there, I'm going to let this chicken cook for one hour. And then I'm going to be adding the butter to the towards the end. And, uh, of course, I'll put the noodles in last. So I've got all my ingredients in. And I'm going to make sure that I don't need to add some salt or whatever. We're going to cook this for a good hour. And basically, when I come back again, it'll be done. Okay? Okay. It's going to be real good. I could add another little bit, more, another teaspoon of my garlic um, pepper in there. And I can add another, because this is a lot of water. Look, this is a whole lot of water. A couple tablespoons, teaspoons more of my chicken base. Where is the onion powder? Okay, I'm gonna get me a tablespoon of onion powder going in there. Onion powder, even though I got fresh onion in there. 
the onion powder we just add to it y'all and I've got my uh now I got I got plenty plenty um <clears throat> Plenty of curry, so I'll put in another tablespoon of curry powder in there. So now we're just gonna uh, turn the fire down under here. And if you want to cook a smaller pot, you just put fewer pieces of chicken. Make sure the the uh, chicken is covered with water well over the top, and then just start cooking it. And then when it gets done, pretty much in about an hour, we're gonna start adding our noodles in. Okay? So here we go. We're gonna put that lid on. And we're going to turn the heat down. We're going to crack it just a little so it won't boil up. And we'll be back shortly. Hey, y'all. I'm back. It's time to put the noodles in. It's time to put the noodles in. All I have here before I put the noodles in, I have a stick of butter. There it goes. I'm put the butter in at the end because I want most of that butter to get on these noodles. Now you're going to cook them about 10, 12, 15 minutes is how long they're going to have to cook. And as the, because it's so hot, they're going to continue cooking, so that's why they don't have to really cook 10, 12, 15 minutes. Now, I always do this, and I hope I don't do it today. Okay. This is, I think, two cups of noodles. I'm just going to put in two cups of noodles. How about that? Can we agree on that? And you know how you keep adding and adding? I'm going to try not to add anymore. I'm going to put in two cups of noodles. Because I want um, I want them to have some juice in it. That butter still melts. I want there to be juice in these noodles. In this uh, chicken noodle soup. I don't want it to be too thick. But at the same time, I want a thickness about it. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to let that cook with the lid off let it boil real fast just place it to the bowl I'm going to keep stirring because I want my noodles to go down there and stick on the bottom of the pan so I think the two cups of noodles should suffice if not we'll come back and put more so we're saying um, let me see how many cups are they saying I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm gonna put for this size pot for five pounds of chicken and three gallons of water. I'm gonna put that's how many noodles I'm gonna put. I'm just gonna let those cook, and like I said, I'll stir them from time to time to ensure that they don't stick to the bottom of my pot. Okay, it's going well. It's going well. I'm gonna go ahead and get my chick, my cream of chicken soup. Get it ready to go in here shortly. Okay, we're just gonna let that boil and we'll be right back. Okay, time for that cream chicken soup to go in. Just take your little spatula there and put it right on in. This just helps with the flavor and this will help, you know, thicken the soup and give it a good old, good old flavor, y'all. This is the uh, support ingredient. Just take you, uh, what I mentioned, I'm gonna get my uh, wire whisk, whisk my whisk and whisk that soup. Make sure it gets stirred up real good in there. And it was also kind of shred some of that meat, get that meat sh to shred in there because this meat, for the most part, is cooked to pieces. And that is absolutely wonderful, y'all. And of course, you know, the chicken legs, they still have their bones in them. I will remove those bones whenever, but the little bones in the chicken wings, I'm just going to leave them just as they are. This is a huge pot, y'all. So we're just going to let that cook until those noodles get really uh, good and soft. And hopefully all that flavor will cook right into them. As you can see, we're getting there with the soup, y'all. We're getting there. As these noodles get uh, more done, they'll begin to fill in this pot. Okay. It's nice. It has a nice, I like that look that it has that nice creamy look to it. 
and that's exactly what I want in here. I'm, if, if I've got a can of uh, milk, I may put a can of milk. Mmm, I taste it. That's good. And remember to keep stirring there, especially if you got that heat up sort of high. Go ahead and stir in there so that um, it won't stick, because it will stick. And remember, you got these noodles in there. The noodles is what will stick. So we're just going to let this cook. It's got to cook, up, like I said, about 15 minutes before it's done. So hang on. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. The soup is ready. The toast is ready. And we're getting ready to dip it up and get ready to eat. I'm getting ready to take... Um, this bowl full to my neighbor. She's not feeling too well today, so I'm gonna take her a nice bowl. This soup turned out so nice and thick, and I'm gonna leave it thick. And it's one of those situations where if you want to see, it's like a stew more than it is a soup. So I'm gonna leave it nice and thick like that. And if anybody wants to put some water in it to thin it out, or some broth to thin it out, they can. They're welcome to do so, but I'm gonna leave it nice and thick. I like it thick. I got my chicken bones, I left them right on in there except for the chicken legs. So, and I made some nice garlicky, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Texas toast to go along with it. I was gonna do those biscuits, but I decided Texas toast sounded so much better, y'all. So, listen, guys, thank y'all for stopping by. Continue to pray for all of our sisters and brothers throughout the country who are in distress from the weather from uh, losing loved ones and things like that, especially this time of year. Remember to call somebody up and try and make their day with a phone call, a word, a deed. And it's time to get those Christmas cards going. Now, I got, I'm writing on mine. I'm going to go to the post office tomorrow and get my Christmas stamps, and I'm going to be ready to get them in the mail uh, by the end of the week. So, listen, guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Love you guys. Stand in the gap for somebody. Pray for somebody, y'all. And uh, especially pray without ceasing. Love you guys until I decide to cook again now, which will probably be tomorrow. Love you. Toodles.